but this is Overlord is a new idol game. It's an idol PvP game. Uh, it's basically a soft kingdom management type game where, you know, unlike Simple Mill or Ironwood RPG, you're not focused on the sole player uh, character. You have a quote unquote kingdom that you have soldiers and workers and hero units um, that contribute overall to your power in the game. Uh, and this is an MMO. Uh, there's a guild feature. There's a pure player market. There's not even an NPC vendor, okay? So it's not like Ironwood RPG where you can have two routes to money there uh, or offloading resources. But yes, it's got a guild system. Uh, it's basic, but what's there is enjoyable. And there is the player market. And there's also a native chat built in. There's no general chat, but there's a native direct message system and guild chat as you'll see in the guild tab, has a, a guild a guild chat channel. So it's awesome. Um, and it's continually being developed. It's, like I said, it's very infinite, uh, infantile, and it's, it's set up here, uh, and the beta was just announced. So that's huge. Um, so th let this video just be like a quick introduction to the game. Uh, maybe it strikes your interest as an idle uh, game player. And if you're looking for that PvP itch outside of games like Simple ML, this fits in that, that very niche idle, you know, PvP game. I haven't played many uh, idle games that have PvP, so this is going to be good. It's going to be great. All right, so here we are. This is the, this is the uh, homepage. Why are you calling me a noob already? Anyway, this is the homepage of overlord.gg. Uh, the link is in the description if you want to go check it out as I'm talking through the game. Feel free to do so. But here you'll see all your information, all your intel uh, at a glance. Uh, at the top, you, you know, you have your current rank. I'm top 14 in the game. Uh, mind you, there's not a lot of players right now. There's like 100 or so, uh, but I am rank 14 at uh, my current city. We'll go over that soon enough. Or my energy, this game does run on an energy system, uh, but you can boost the regen. Uh, through spells, which are a mechanic of the game, and also being part of a guild, you can do guild spells. So you can do double uh, whammies here for, you know, buffs, so to speak. Uh, you see your power. That's all your stats combined, essentially. You have your uh, attack and defense, and you have your population. Population, we'll go into uh, further detail in there on the population tab. You have gems. Gems, as you see here, over, over here, this little section... Uh, to my right, right above me, actually, those are daily quests and they provide gems. And gems are like an in game currency that you earn um, for specific things, which we'll go over. And shards, shards are a byproduct of gems. And you'll, you'll see what I mean in a second here. But yeah, so at a glance, you see the resources above me again. You have gold, wood, metal, and food. Uh, food is used for PvP, uh, they are all used for upgrades to your kingdom. Because uh, you can upgrade your resource production and any of these resources here. You can upgrade your base attack and defense without uh, any modifier. So like your soldiers and their equipment or your hero. You can just uh, modify at the base level. And here there's the population. I have 162 soldiers, which are important. Soldiers allow you to have increased item slots or equip slots. Uh, which is an armory tab, armory tab, excuse me, which we'll go over in detail. Uh, you have horsemen. Uh, so the two distinctions here right now, they're going to be changed later on. It's already been leaked. Uh, but soldiers and horsemen, soldiers can be um, stolen or lost during PvP, but horsemen cannot. So horsemen are kind of like, if you're into crypto, they're your stable coin. Uh, or if you're investing, it's your dollar. <laughs> it, it, it's going to be there for stability. Uh, and then workers. Workers you distribute to gain the four resources on display here. And again, my power is here. You see my attack and my defense with all the modifiers. Uh, and then my resources with the workers allotted. And what I'm produ uh, producing per tick. Okay. Also, uh, if you look over to the right, there's hero right above me. Uh, the hero... Um, little heads up the, that's my current hero equipped and the runes so there are there's rune systems in this game um, that further modify your hero and you can do 
there's a whole tier system of these runes, which we'll go over. Artifacts, artifacts, which you can use gems to uh, buy, like an artifact chest. It's like a random drop in our, you know, RNG Jesus over here. Um, but here's my current one. It's pretty shit, but it's here and it's just additional bonifier. So if you like playing games where you just want, you want to see the numbers go up, but you also want to be able to maybe tweak a certain play style or increase a certain percentage. There's tons of ways to modify uh, your character, either temporarily or, you know, persistently. And then you see all these modifiers here. Look at, look at these modifiers, dude. You kind of see it behind me, but that's just a list of what's active. Okay, so that's the first tab. That's the home page, okay? This is all your info. Uh, we're moving on to hero. So there are heroes in this game. Let's, let's take a swig of Fresco. Ugh. So here's your hero screen. Here are all the runes available. You primarily get runes from PvP. And there's a shit ton of common runes and different tiered runes. And these come into play in a different tab, which I'll go over later. Uh, you can set up loadouts, which is interesting. I don't use that. Um, but here you go. Here are your heroes. So there's multiple heroes with multiple attributes, right? So this, this dude... Uh, you know, it gets the tank, the defender, excuse me. Uh, they're mainly defense power and dodge, which are primarily defense modifiers. And then you have a couple like Arcana the Wise with spells and defense power spells. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, and so on and so forth. I'm using um, Ceres, Circes. Oh my God. Circes? No, that's what the next. I don't, whatever. Anyway. Uh, workers food and energy regen so that's huge because again food is used for pvp and energy regen is the main mechanic in the game that allows you to take action or pvp to fight guild bosses oh did i mention that we'll get into that later and then here you have your hero um, activity so to speak right and so i have this hero selected and i can put them into training training is here it'll tell you how long it you know the duration it is uh, and training boosts these base modifiers on your hero. So the worker's food in regen, that goes up with the hero's level. Thing to note though, there is a punishment to training. All the runes, all the base modifiers, this their, their active spell, which you can't really see behind me, but there's something called Supreme Plunder that's part of that hero's active spell and it increases PvP loot. All that increases with level, but if they're set into training, none of that is active. So you'll see here, my attack is 7.32 mil. If I put them into training, uh, it's, I'm down 5.29 mil because things are not active right now. The modifiers are turned off. And there's like a cooldown from taking them out of training. But that's the hero tab. There's multiple heroes for different play styles. Uh, and you unlock them with gems, which you get from your daily, your daily uh, you know, quests. And yeah, it's it's a it's a fun part of the game. Moving on to population chat. Moving on to population. So here, what is it's it's the same you saw in the you know on the base page or the home screen. Uh, it's just here's a more you know more breakdown of your resources. Uh, and when you unlock population, because there's you unlock a base of fifteen pop um, per tick. Uh, every you know when it comes off a of CD, it says per day. Uh, and this is where you can distribute them manually uh, between soldiers, horsemen, and workers. And if you get workers, this is where you can further um, allocate them into the four main resources of the game. Moving on to upgrades. So upgrades, this is what I was talking about. The the base upgrade of your kingdom without, you know, utilizing runes or your heroes or your workforce, or excuse me, your soldiers, your army essentially, right? Uh, this is where you can, when you have resources, you can spill them into your uh, basic attributes of your kingdom. So your your attack, your defense, the amount of gold, wood, metal, and food you produce can all be upgraded here. So it allows you, if you have a lower population, or if you just want you know a, a smaller group, and you want to really focus, uh, or a small group of modifiers, and you really want to focus on your you know your your base attributes you can do that here and it's again it's just stacking and stacking and stacking on top of the heroes and the runes and their passives and you know your army and their equipment uh yeah so this is where you do that so moving on to social 
it is a MMO, uh, an idle MMO. So there is, of course, a leaderboard. There's only one type of leaderboard right now, and it's based off uh, your your power, essentially. Um, there's no, like, say, like, Ironwood RPG. There's no leaderboard for gold or wood, um, like, wood cutting, like, all the skills that are in that game. Uh, so right now, it's just power. Now, there is a guild ranking um, board, LB, uh, but that's on the guild tab. So here's the, the overview. This is where you're going to spend a lot of your time because the ranking page is the same page where you go to attack players. So here I am. Uh, here's the Punisher. Oh, please let me. Is my cooldown? Oh, my God. I don't know if I can beat this dude, but we'll see. So we'll go to rank. I'll just I'll beat up a noob. Uh, there's Ice Neo. <laughs> so here's like here's a player and this is what it looks like okay so you have your player you can go to their profile here you can see their uh active hero and you can see their their rank you can see their race because this game has races i'm a dwarf there's human there's elf there's a couple others and they all have base modifiers so they have rpg elements layered into this game which is really interesting uh, you can see their army count their gold on hand what city they're in which matters because if they're not in your city you can't pvp them uh, and their guild uh, so here i here you go in the attack right here i have three out of five chances to loot their soldiers for my own which i can distribute as workers it's enslavement uh, this is my current energy and this is the food my army requires 511 food so normally when you pvp you want to find someone that covers your food cost uh, during the PvP action. So we'll hit attack. As you can see here, I'm a total pro, even without my hero activated. So I have my base power, my guild power, and uh, the total of the two. And you can see here, I won. And look, he's stacked. He's stacked, chat. You can't, hold on. Let me let me move my, my head. Look at, th look at this dude, he's stacked. He's got all this food and metal, and I'm getting my guild EXP. All right, so I'm gonna attack him a couple more times. Man, this is kind of good. But this is your your general action. This is your PVP. Uh, it's very satisfying if you're watching the numbers go up. Uh, okay, we'll move on. I'm go I'm gonna get fat on EXP. But this is the ranking page. Um, this is where you'll see there's an event. Um, so events they are usually negative modifiers against the player base. This is the shrine. If you play idle MMO, simple MMO. Their shrine buffs in those games or temple buffs, depending on what game you're playing. Uh, this has the same concept where players pull their gold together and get certain buffs. And you'll see here, energy region is 30% because all three tiers of the shrine were met um, with their with their donation. And you'll see next big update in 35 minutes, which changes the state of the game. Now let's move on to what you're all interested in, uh, if you're coming from our other games, is the guild um, mechanic in the guild uh, page. So here's the guild tab. Again, you will see your, your resource count. This isn't the guild resource, but the, you'll see your resource count in and out of uh, these separate pages. Kumo, don't you do it. I'll run you over. Uh, so here we have the Couch Cat Guild, and we're the fifth guild in the game. Uh, you'll Kumo. There's a, there's a freaking beagle outside, and it's just howling, and it's so annoying. Uh, anyway, you can put your guild description. Uh, you can put your link to your Discord and to oh, well, us, our YouTube channel. I don't know yeah. if it's allowed or not, but there's like there's like loosey-goosey rules going on in this game. Uh, and then I had alliances yeah. here because we were al allied with the Stark Guild. Until we weren't allied yeah. with the Stark Guild anymore. Come on. It's okay. And... From here, you can ed edit your stuff. And let's go into the guild list real quick. So the guild list is the guild LB, or the leaderboard. And you'll see here the cost of a guild. You have to do your daily quest uh, to earn those uh, diamonds, or gems, excuse me, to create your guild. Um, but yeah, so here's the guild leaderboard. You'll see here there's some badass guilds that have basically been here since like the beginning of the pre-alpha. You'll see end here from, I think it's the same guild from Idol. I don't know. I don't. I I haven't been able to confirm it, uh, but here we are. So you got your rank, your name, you got your leader, you got your population. So the population increases per guild level. It's like it, it 
it's not it's like not public information of what level is required to get a player slot but we think it's like every three levels after a certain a certain amount of levels of the guild and our guild level itself let's go back to the actual guild tab um and you'll see here we have requests you can have five pending at once which you know you can kick or or accept you have the information of the guild up front taxes tax you can actually if you play simple ml there's been a lot of shady guilds who tax their members in a game that is not required to tax at all uh in the form of contributions this game you can set taxes to have players um pay into the guild bank and the guild bank pays for spells uh and spells are again modifiers that generate percentage boosts to the guild depending on what you pick uh so you get to tax your members and if you don't tax your members you're not a real guild leader uh, and you can set the amount. I could right now make it 10 grand and people will be shit out of luck. Now I'm just kidding. But I'm not going to do that. And these check marks means they pay taxes or not. Uh, but here you can see, you know, your members. You can see if they're online or not. You can see if they picked an avatar or not. And if you haven't, you're a noob. Uh, and then you can see the active boss. So there are guild bosses here in this game. And they spawn. They're on a uh, cooldown. And when you beat the guild boss, not only can you use spells to further boost your PvP loot, your energy regen, your damage, whatever you want, but the guild boss will have its own modifier once defeated. And so you'll see here, Worker's Metal. It's increased the proficiency of our workers to gain the metal resource. So there's just a bunch of like modifiers flying around, and it's awesome. Who, killed, who attacked me? Chubby attacked me, that rat, dude. That rat. I'm gonna kill him on stream. And here's your chat. You can say, like, hello, stream. Uh, and, you know, uh, <laughs> one thing, one thing I would say needs to change is, like, the chat also serves as, like, a the notification of, like, people joining, people paying their taxes. Maybe have two tabs here and have just the chat and then a tab that shows, like, all the notifications. Uh, oh, look, Shadow uh, bailed. You know, we're going to kill that noob. Okay, anyway, so here, also within the guild um, page, you have your spells that are active or on cooldown. Again, there's so many modifiers here. And then where you can't see behind my head, which I'll have to move again, is contribution. So you can see who's who's PvPing um, the most, who is contributing, paying their taxes the most, uh, and who is... You know, participating in the raid aka the guild boss so you have contribution here you have exp look at jason chief from asgard and simple mill just killing it with exp and then our guild boss slayer which is loon loon is just freaking pounding it so that's the guild tab uh and again this is all just in its current state we can hope that there's going to be alliances and things to build upon but for what you get you get a chat you get player management you get uh you know description you get overview of your you know your your stats and your gold and guild modifiers uh, on top of guild bosses with their own modifiers as rewards it, it's extremely rewarding for the player to be in a guild and unlike games like you know simple mo for example it's very low stress uh in terms of creating a powerful guild and fostering a community within your guild all right moving on to the finance tabs this is the bank this is where you want to bank your stuff i'm gonna i can't you have certain deposits per day so you have to be strategic with your banking uh and you have you can withdraw as much as you want but this resets as well throughout the day uh, so you really want to be sure, like, if you're going to start farming people or you're going to run a dungeon, which we'll go over soon, and you're going to have a pool of resources, you want to be able to deposit it or spend it right away on upgrades and items. This is the mark. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, the game just died. The game just died on, on live TV. Uh, so this is the market. Again, this is a player ran market. You have bombs here selling food. Look at this. This dude, what a cheapskate. Overcharging us. Delusion became a member. Delusion. 12 months at the Couch Cat level. Phew. One year, homie. Dude, cheers to you, Delusion. One year supporting our channel. He was in a day one. 
Thank you so much, dude. I love you. All right. So here's the market. This is where you can sell things. You can use your gems that you get from your daily quests to uh, open boxes. And you can get runes or you can get artifacts, which I showed you earlier. They're their own like mega modifier that uh, has pros and cons to it. And runes, uh, again, other modifiers that you can upgrade into different tiers and re-roll them. There's a whole thing about it. It's really meant for a tutorial video, so I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do that here. Here's the auction house. Um, Nyapa is bidding on stuff and on runes essentially. So it's this is, dude. Is there no place this game? What the? F anyway, this is um, eBay. This is eBay within Overlord. And here's your trades. You can do direct, direct trading. I, I traded with uh, Nyapa a couple days ago. You can view it. And you can see here, we did a one for one uh, for a resource trade. So yeah, you can trade directly. All right, moving on to the miscellaneous tab. This is like, we're nearing the end and this is where a bunch of stuff uh, gets fun. So we have the dungeons, okay? And dungeons, as you can see here, they're, they're town locked or city locked. So, right? I'm pretty sure they're city locked. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's camps. I think that's camps. Okay, anyway, they're, that's the next tab. I got confused. But dungeons, uh, they're based off hero level. So you either level your one hero or you level a bunch of heroes, you know, in rotation to get a total hero level. They're based off of your current power. Uh, and you can see here the type of resources that uh, you get per tick. So when you like, you know, here, I can do it. I can do this one. I can, <laughs> 69, nice, dude. Oh, my God. It, it auto fills for you as well. Uh, you can enter a dungeon. And you'll see here my countdown and the max amount of resources I should expect to get. Oh, my God. I in my head again. Uh, at the end of this dungeon. And so this is just a way to fill that resource gap. Uh, if you're not successfully PVPing people or strong enough to PVP people to gain resources, to feed your army, uh, as in make them powerful, uh, or do your upgrades to your kingdom or buy items. So this is just a, a nifty PVE way to do that. You're not actually fighting mobs or anything. It's just, it's a resource farm. And then here's camps. This is fairly new. This came out like literally two days ago. Uh, this is city bound. So I'm in Brightwood, it's where all the noobs are. And there's there's Ravenhole and Dragon's uh, Dark Spire and Grimrock. And these allow you to re-roll your runes. So you have all these common runes or whatever runes you have. Uh, you go to one of these and you're looking for the rarity here. Uh, and you're looking for the resource and hero cost here as well, just like in dungeons. Um, and it will show you the aspect. So what like, or excuse me, the type. So there's aspect, chaos, purity, whatever. And they have their own little thing that goes with them. I haven't really, I've only done the camps once. The runes are still fairly uh, complex to me, uh, but people like Nyapa have mastered runes. But anyway, uh, that sounds fun. Mastered rune. Okay. But anyway, you can see like I did it, camp history. I picked a random food rune and it turned into a PVP rune and it was slightly better in, in percentage. So you can re-roll your runes and these, without my runes, my hero would be complete noob still. So these runes are huge in gameplay and affect your PVP. Here's the armory. Uh, I've referenced this a couple times when talking about soldiers. So on this tab, you can see what's really important is over here on the right, you see soldiers and items and space. So essentially every soldier is a one for one uh, inventory slot. So if I were to hire 15 soldiers, I would have 15 more spaces, uh, within my armory. And that allows me to buy items for either attack or defense modifiers. And you'll see here, um, it'll tell you like, Oh, affordable upfront. Right. So say like, and right now I am upgrading my tiers into the enchanted dagger. If I was able to afford like two of these, I would sell two of my Staff of Blood, which is the lower tier item, and buy two more Enchanted Daggers. And you'll see over here the total on the right. And then defense below that. Uh, here, I'll move my head. There's the defense. But yeah, so these items, you get Warriors. And for the Warriors, you have inventory slots. 
and then these items just further enhance your um, your overall power within attack and defense. So very cool. It's just another way to build um, modifications into your army, <laughs> or you know, impart modifications to your army. So here's travel. There are four cities uh, in this game, and you can see here the required hero levels. Uh, and they also have resource modifiers. So the base or the noob city, Brightwood, has literally nothing going for it. But you'll see in Ravenhold, uh, if you want to farm gold, you should go there. If you want to farm every resource but gold, Darkspire. If you want to go to Grimrock and get 100% gold and also negative defense. So it's kind of like entering the wild and runescape, so to speak, where everything is against you. Go there. And you'll see the player count in each city is drastically different. Look how many players are in Brightwood right now. There's a thousand. And then you have six in Ravenhold, so I, I haven't traveled. I think people mainly travel for the runes. Moving on to artifacts. Again, I showed you this earlier. You can have three equipped. You can use your gems. Well, you should. You will be using your gems from your daily quests. And you're just hoping to roll is RNG. You're just hoping to roll a really good artifact that doesn't punish you too much to just have another base level modifier that's persistent to your character and then moving on to battles this is your battle log this is shadow um <laughs> so chubi killed me and then shadow tried to kill me and he lost so the win means i won so shadow is so newbie that he thought he could just slap me and he couldn't so that's interesting but you'll see here i just dump energy into pvp because PvP is the main way to earn guild EXP, and you want to level your guild, because leveling your guild means more players in your guild. And then the community tab, um, there, oh god, flashbang warning. There is a full-on tutorial to the game, well not tutorial, but guide to the game with everything explained. It's being updated in real time. It's an excellent resource. You don't even have to read it. It's all... People like Caveman said this looks really complicated. It's really, it really isn't. Just get strong and kill people. Uh, and then they also have patch notes built into the game as well. And you'll see here uh, the beta release date. This is very important, okay? So if you're watching this stream or this VOD in the future and you're like, this game sounds fun, I want to try it, or at least I want to have a PvP idle game in my rotation, wait till August 8th. August 8th, they're doing the wipe into beta. So everyone starts fresh. So if you want to like maybe play tonight to see what things are like, you know, get a lay of the land of what I have, you know, overviewed tonight, do that. But just know August 8th is going to be the best time to join and get that fresh, you know, MMO experience um, from the beta. And there's going to be a giant beta patch note uh, drop that's coming from the dev Eon, who's very vocal. He loves feedback. Uh, he's very inter he, he's interactive with us in our discord uh, he's a you know another solo dev with I believe he's got a team behind him in some regard um, but yeah he's just very you know intricate like I mean look at these patch notes or this was a proposed system but yeah they're very detailed and you can keep up to date here and then of course their discord is linked into the game so if you're interested Go play the game, click the Discord, join it. It's very small right now. Um, I, I will say this. Uh, if Even if you maybe you're not interested in this game right now or ever, but you have experience playing idle games and PvP games, join the Discord and you know give the guy some feedback. Uh, he's always looking to fine-tune things, to test things, to see if something would you know work. And if you've played you know, Simple MMO or Ironwood RPG or even Idle MMO for a long time, there's experience here that you can share with the solo dev that, you know, he would definitely appreciate. Uh, but that, let's go back to the base page. So chat, this is the overview. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too quick for some, but this will be a VOD. You can rewatch it anytime you want. Uh, but this was a quick overview of overlord.gg. This is definitely not a tutorial, uh, but I just wanted to show you. Oh, by the way, this is dark mode. There's light mode and dark mode. They're free, you know use whatever preference but i just want to show you this new idle pvp game that is actively in development and the dev is you know taking notes the dev is implementing awesome ideas and we here at couch cat are all for it 
and we're having fun. As you can see, we're a number five guild already. Okay, there's some dead guilds in here, okay? But most of it, if you go to the ranking, this is how much the Couch Cat homies love this game, okay? If you go to the rankings, you'll see Couch Cat, 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 Couch Cat. You, you're getting the idea here. There's a lot of homies in our community that are, are loving this game, fine tuning their kingdom with the modifiers and the runes and the resource. You have players like Bombs who, you know, they play in rotation. They'll they'll move, they'll, they'll min max their workers to one resource to the next, to the next, to the next until they're, you know, max. And then they PvP. Like, there's so many ways to approach this game in within a PvP sense, right? But at, at its core, it's a very basic idle kingdom pvp manager that has death to it if you want to explore further into the systems uh i i know all this information up front is a little ooh, there's a lot here it's just intel it's intel for you it's visual information that you can largely ignore if you need to to go to your guild tab to pvp to uh you know get your resources so yeah that's overlord